Alright guys, what's going on? Today I'm going to be showing you how to install the virtual half byte loader on 260 firmware for the PS Vita. You need to download the following games if you haven't already. Uh, Sony probably already took them down, but I made two videos prior saying what games to download, so don't come whining me. Uh, and they're all listed here. I have the Euro version of Arcade Darts and the 138 menu. You also have the uh, Arcade Pool for the United States, uh, Arcade Air Hockey, and uh, I think Bowling, yeah, Arcade, let's see, Arcade Air Hockey and Bowling for Europe, Arcade Air Hockey and Bowling for the US, uh, Arcade Pool Snooker for Euro, and uh, the uh, World of Pool and uh, the Arcade Darts for the United States. Now, I will be showing you how to install this on the Arcade Darts. Now, as you can see, I already have Arcade Darts downloaded and installed, and uh, so we're just simply going to go to the computer now and follow my lead. So, basically, any of these games uh, you're going to be using, what you're going to need to do first is you're going to need to go to your documents folder or wherever you have your PS Vita folder that's linked to your content manager. Open that up, go to the P save data, and go to your systems uh, configuration code folder, and uh, then you're going to uh, go in there and make a slot. All right, well, this is where you're going to be putting the hacked save game. So, um, <clears throat> without further ado, go grab the one that you're using for me it will be arcade darts for the US and uh, simply what you're going to do is just double click on these files and open them up uh, it will help if you have an extraction program so uh, make sure you have one of those um, and double click on this folder and open it up and you will see all these wonderful lovely folders here and uh, these this is uh, basically what's going to be loading your virtual half byte loader so what you're going to do is you're going to extract these files and you will see the NPUZ 0097 slot 00 folder uh, for other um, extraction uh, it'll be different for an example I'll open up the uh, arcade air hockey bowling for the EU the folders will be different but you will see these folders right directly inside these zip formats and uh, you just choose the one that you need and all the arcade uh, or all the arcade games uh, download links for these virtual half byte loaders will be below in the description labeled and um, to trigger the exploit, start the game, load, save, press right four times, and press X on uh, profile, press X on alter player. So uh, it's uh, got a little bit of a job to it, but that's how you load it. So to trigger the exploit, again, start the game, load the save, press right four times, press X on profile, and then press X on alter player. So we'll go and follow this now. What you're going to need to do is take this NPUZ0028 whatever folder and uh, you're going to drag and drop that and copy that to your PS Vita, uh, P save data, uh, whatever your configuration number folder is and drag it there. Now what you're going to do is you're going to come to the PS Vita and what you're going to do is start content manager. Hit start on content manager. Let me just bring this a little closer for you and what you're going to do is you're going to connect to your uh, PS Vita system. Now if you made a save game uh, data with the game prior you're going to want to delete it and you'll see the arcade darts that's the European version I made a video on that uh, on how to install it properly but I'm just going to delete that real quick and click OK and uh, then click cancel. Now you can see I already have my emulators loaded and everything but now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and you're going to select PC to PS Vita system select that go to applications scroll down to save data PSP and other and you will see uh, the arcade pool whoops wrong one hold on a minute <laughs> I thought I picked the wrong one uh, wrong one hold on I need arcade darts I'm an idiot arcade pool arcade darts US here we go alright drop that in there alright cancel alright arcade darts virtual half byte loader right there on the bottom check that click copy I don't care about my battery level allow it to copy the files to the PS Vita system
and there we go so it should be almost two megabytes so click cancel go back and go back and we'll just double check to make sure it's there click on PS Vita system to PC and go down to save data and PSP other and you should see the arcade darts right there alright so moving on going home now like that and come down to the arcade darts game start that game up and I believe it automatically loads when you load the save data in this game per se I'm not sure but I guess we'll find out so here's arcade darts allow it to load it's a little slow but whatever whatever works right alright press X to start go to load game and just load a a a a a a a There we go. Yeah, just hit circle and it will load it. And then here's what? Couldn't find any homebrew in MS0 PSP virtual houses there. Um question mark. Am I supposed to put something in here? <laughs> but I guess that's the exploit. So the exploit works. I just have to figure out how to fucking wait a minute. So let's go back. All right. So real quick, not on the computer. I had everything set up right. So just follow everything I said before. Uh, but I figured it out in like fucking thirty seconds. So I just figured I put it in here real quick. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Um, <clears throat> so uh, again, let the game load up after you load the uh, save file into the uh, PS Vita system using CMA and uh, after that you let the game load up and then load the game other virtual half byte loaders will be different and there will be written text documents in the folders themselves to explain how to install them uh, so press X load the game and arcade darts and then uh, hit X on that hit circle and wait like three seconds and then the uh, loader screen will enter its mode So allow that to open it up, and then you'll come to this message. And then I was like, what the fuck? Uh, but if you hit the left bumper, the L button, it goes back to this menu. And then you can scroll down and click X, and it will say, do you want to install homebrews? Hit yes. And it will install the homebrew. That little clicking noise is all the files. And then uh, you just click OK. And then once you install Homebrew, uh, you just pretty much go back. Game. Right. Then you have a virtual half byte loader folder, and this is your Homebrew folder right here. So this is your menu, but if you go back, go to PSP, save data, and you got all that shit there. So. That's how you do that, and uh, the ready saves, I will have a lot of them coming out, so, uh, and very frequently too, so uh, stay tuned, and that's about it, so rate, comment, and subscribe to my channel, uh, check out my website, software-reborn.com, and uh, just to prove to you that this shit works, I guess I'll load up the Game Boy Advance emulator here. Yeah, I know you can't open the save directory, you stupid fuck, but there you go, so here's the emulator. And, uh, but that's it. So, uh, let's see. Weet. ROM. And there we go. So, that's that. Those are the ROMs. It's, uh, a lot of Super Mario World here. So, there you go. There's the virtual half byte loader, and now you have emulators on your system. So take it easy, guys. Again, rate, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Check out my website, software-reborn.com, as well as all the download links below. And feel free to donate to my channel. Sorry about the little mix-up in this video. I just got dumbfounded for a minute. Uh, but uh, 
let alone it works. So all the links will be below. Take these guys and I'll talk to you later.